In breaking news, Premier Ted Bailey was in hospital after undergoing surgery today. I'm joined now by our state political reporter, Josie Taylor, who has more details. Josie, what happened? Well, Ian, today the Premier Ted Bailey was brought here to the Epworth Hospital in Richmond to undergo surgery to remove a kidney stone. I understand this is a very painful condition and it could explain Ted Bailey's absence from public events today. Now, his office says it wasn't emergency surgery, but he did undergo a general anaesthetic, so it is quite serious. It also means that just a few weeks after being elected as Victoria's new Premier, Ted Bailey is now out of action for at least a few days. But Ted Bailey's office says that the Premier is fine, that he had to have the operation due to medical advice, but he should be back on deck at Parliament for the last sitting day next week. In the meantime, his deputy, Peter Ryan, will be acting Premier. Meanwhile, the Labor Party continues to examine its own election defeat. Today, the man behind Labor's failed election campaign defended his decision to put John Brumby at the centre of a presidential-style campaign. ALP State Secretary Nick Rees today gave his first public address since Labor's defeat. Labor's State Secretary says he knew if voters judged Labor on their 11-year record... ..that we were toast. ..and they were. As to why, Nick Rees blames what he calls a by-election effect, people expecting Labor would win a fourth term. First, it increased people's potential to register protest vote against the government. Second, it meant people were not judging Ted Bayou or his policies critically as, because they didn't think he would actually win. He concedes rising home expenses and public transport sank the Labor Party. On the Frankston line, we lost five seats. On the Lilydale line, if you count Mount Waverley to the south, we lost four. Mr Reese says Labor did make mistakes in its campaign but was loath to dwell on them. Fair, I did think I touched on some of those in the course of the speech. The fact is that Labor just grew out of touch with people in Victoria and uh, that, I suspect, is at the core of the problem. Nick Rees defended his decision to base his failed campaign around John Brumby's leadership. Uh, no, I don't think it was a mistake. But there are signs some within the Labor Party disagree with this comment from one ALP member sitting next to the man Nick Rees replaced as ALP State Secretary. The problem at the core of the campaign was a lack of vision. I don't think that the campaign made a great deal of difference to the election result. What I think the election message needs to be is that uh, Melbourne's runaway population growth was a problem for us. A problem now for the new government. Josie Taylor, ABC News, Melbourne.